Let's talk about Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 poor CPU utilization in Unreal Engine games. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I would like to talk about why have we been getting more and more games running at 30 frames per second on current gen consoles that have been based on Unreal Engine, right? Unreal Engine 4 for the most part because we haven't really seen too many games uh, on Unreal Engine 5. I mean, maybe except uh, Fortnite. That's it. And that actually, that is actually not a good example anyway, because it runs at even up to 120 frames per second on these next gen consoles. But it has been well optimized. And that's the key word here. Okay, so these current gen consoles are quite capable, right? The, especially CPUs, four times more capable than last generation consoles. So you would imagine that these consoles should have no issues with uh, running this game at 60 frames per second minimum. But that uh, was not actually the case. Even last generation uh, consoles, um, last generation games actually struggled uh, to run at um, uh, 60 sometimes on uh, Unreal Engine, in Unreal Engine games. But like uh, even games that have been created with um, or, or better optimized for current gen consoles, and I'm talking about like Gotham Knights or for example, um, uh, Plague Tale Requiem. So these, these are very good examples of games that even though they were uh, Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 only console games, right? But they started the development as a PlayStation 4, Xbox One kind of games as well, right? So, I mean, Dark Knight only last minute got, uh, you know, version for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, were cancelled. Uh, that was announced like literally a couple of months before the release of the game. So the original idea for that game was to release it on uh, last gen consoles as well. But anyway, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make here is that uh, poor optimization in these games is to blame. And uh, there's actually more to it, right? Because that's kind of ob obvious. Um, and you know digital foundry actually made a kind of cool video recently actually that was a, a podcast where they discussed that topic and um they spoke about the fact that a lot of these unreal engine games is struggling with frame rates even on on uh, next generation or current gen consoles right despite the fact that these consoles have a way more capable cpus and the problem is optimization and um and to be more specific, it's blueprint, right? So, so this is how things work in Unreal. Not only Unreal, many other engines as well, but we are talking about Unreal uh, Engine here in, um, specifically, right? So when you make a game, uh, whether you are indie developer or a big studio, doesn't matter, you create art, right? Then you've got these animations, different objects, you have to put that everything into, import that into the engine, build worlds, uh, animations and, and everything. And basically in order to make everything to work together, you know, in order to objects have physics, in order for um, some objects to know what to do, I'm talking about yeah, AI and everything, physics, everything needs to be scripted, right? So there's like, there's scripts inside the, of the engine, which you either type, so you just program the game, you type code, you write code, that's what programmers do, right? Or you use blueprints. So basically blueprints do the same thing that coders, programmers do, but you just basically not necessarily tick boxes, you kind of, you've got these boxes and you kind of connect them together. Okay, so this physics physics logic for this object and when you do that, then you have to do that, whatever, right? I mean, I'm not really going to get into more detail about it, but that's how it works. And, and the thing is that blueprints are kind of very cool tool to use for, you know, people that don't have developers that don't have any experience with coding or they don't want to get into coding, right? They are artists, they've got a vision and they can make game like that. That's not a problem for smaller games 
because like they're not really going to be taking full advantage of the console anyway but you, when you've got like more demanding games yes that actually makes a difference and uh, the problem with Bro blueprint uh, is that they are not necessarily well optimized for multi-threading right and uh, the current gen consoles CPUs are multi-threaded and they've got 16 threads and if you don't necessarily share the workload all across the CPU the cores well you are being well bottlenecked right that's why you are not really getting the um, the performance that we kind of expect right and and um, that's what digital foundry says that like uh, some of the issues not all of them obviously because it doesn't necessarily i'm not trying to say that every single developer every single game suffers because of that but some games may do and um you know using blueprint is actually not really the best for multi-threading and you know game basically cpu utilization right and that's why you know when you think about you uh, unreal you think about some games not being really properly optimized but on the other hand you look at for example um the coalition which are masters of unreal engine for it well look what they've done with unreal engine with gears gears have been made on arena on unreal engine but they've done ton of custom work on top of that to improve it and you know i would imagine they don't necessarily use scripts much or maybe maybe they do but not for they still optimize it better right so it looks like unreal engine is kind of cool powerful tool but it can be also power hungry and resource hungry and um you know <laughs> unreal engine 5 could potentially improve things here and there hopefully but i think the digital foundry said that um like transferring uh projects from unreal engine 4 to unreal engine 5 well won't fix any of those issues anyway right you're still going to get the same bottlenecks really so you really have to spend time extra time optimizing and uh, making sure that the the uh, performance is there right so uh, this is actually one of the issues and this is actually why i kind of did complain about the fact that more and more developers are moving um uh, towards the Unreal Engine and don't get me wrong like I get it like CD Projekt Red is probably more than capable of like a properly optimized Unreal Engine that kind of stuff but the thing is that like you don't want to have monopoly on uh, in this field right like you don't want to have monopoly anywhere really right and it's actually nice to see sometimes that like EA have their own engine frostbite right like it actually works very well for that space uh ubisoft has, has got is uh, their own engine they, they actually have a couple of uh, engines because division uses i think a totally different engine to what um assassin's creed for example uses right um you know there's like there's crytek with their cry engine uh, there's like different engines like 343 slip space right uh, which apparently is going to be replaced with unreal hey you know uh, that's interesting, but like obviously there's a ton of other developers you that uses Unreal Engine and they are totally fine with it. But some looks like they don't, and looks like that Blueprint use of Blueprint actually um, impacts the performance, de degrades the performance. So the the more developers actually use proper programming and they optimize for the all the cores and everything because blueprints is more like more automatic but you know how things are the more automatic things are the le there are more compatible they work kind of better but they've got they obviously uh, more resor resource heavy right so that impacts performance right it's, it's always like that also with all kinds of um, different you know uh, programming languages there's you know assembler which is the the fastest uh, uh, um, code you can actually use but it's very difficult to program to and it's, uh, very uh, you know a lot of work then you've got all kinds of of all flavors of c uh, language like c c sharp c plus c 
um, C is used for kernel, kernels, C sharp for web development or simple applications, right? C++ is actually used mainly for development of bigger games, right? So there's like, you know, Python is actually used in IT a lot, right? For machine learning, for example, right? So there's different um, languages you can use in different uh, game engines and uh, different scripting tools and stuff. It's, it's pretty complicated and, you know, these different tools offer different uh, I kind of la uh, levels to access hardware and um and how fast they you know can actually behave and perform perform and stuff right so listen hopefully developers will figure out the best way to optimize um you know their games uh, i hope that epic will tackle some of these um, multi-threading issues when when developers use blueprinting and that kind of stuff so uh hopefully it will all be great but looks like this generation is is really a slow one and a bit painful i guess not only when it comes to kind of game releases but also when it comes to developers taking full advantage of these game engines and look like look at some other game engines like uh look at what naughty dog designed or what uh, gorilla is using like 60 frames per second no problem there like um Gorilla's game uh, engine, the sim, I think it's called, right? It works 60 frames per second, big open worlds, no problem there, right? Even on, um, well, last gen consoles, not really, but uh, current gen consoles, no problem. Big open world, look at Horizon Forbidden West, right? It handles 60 frames per second, no problem. So, yeah, listen, we'll see how that goes. I hope that Unreal looks like Unreal is going to be the, the one of the main game engines that is going to be used by developers. So let's hope F uh, Epic will really uh, make a lot of effort in optimizing this game engine for consoles because like, yeah, on PC, you can always throw a better a better CPU or whatever, but that's not the case on consoles. So, but I'm sure that they will squeeze out as much as they can from that game engine and these consoles in the future. So looking forward to that. So guys, that's the video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.